And right now we are following breaking news and call it justice for Zymir. A verdict today in the killing of six-year-old Zymir Perkins, 42-year-old Rasheem Smith has been found guilty of murder and manslaughter in this child's death. Smith was a boyfriend of Zamir's mother. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles was in the courtroom. She's live in Lower Manhattan. Darla? Shade Bell, this means that Rasheem Smith now faces up to life in prison when he returns for his sentencing in March. But it took the jury less than one day to deliberate to find him guilty on the five counts that he was indicted on. Those five counts that he was found guilty on just around 4 o'clock this afternoon are murder two, two counts of manslaughter, manslaughter one and two, as well as two counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Now, prosecutors say back in September 2016, the 42-year-old brutally beat six-year-old Zymir Perkins with a broomstick while his own mother, Geraldine Perkins, just stood by, watched, and did nothing. She is currently serving a two- to six-year sentence for manslaughter after reaching eight plea deal in this case. She testified against Smith last month. The couple, Smith and Perkins, had only been together for 18 months, but prosecutors say Smith would routinely brutalize a six-year-old little boy and force him to live in a roach-infested apartment and sleep on the floor of their Harlem apartment. In fact, an autopsy revealed after the September beating of, in 2016, he had 30 separate rib fractures. Uh, after this guilty verdict was reached this afternoon, the Manhattan DA issued a statement which reads in part, the death of Zymir Perkins was an unthinkable tragedy that sent shockwaves through the city and inspired a reckoning with how our social services system works to protect New York's most vulnerable. And that is, in fact, true. There were, it was found after the death of Perkins that there had been five separate investigations into abuse claims. None of them uh, intervened. No one intervened in those cases at the time. Uh, Again, it was a big fallout with ACS, and the system underwent a big overhaul uh, after his death. So this verdict, not only justice for a six-year-old Zymir Perkins, but for other children uh, in the system who um, may suffer the same fate, and hopefully someone will intervene on their behalf in the future.